Have you guys ever fed an animal before? I mean, other than a dog, like a wild animal, you know, like a like an African animal or something. You never forget it when you feed an animal that's larger than you. This is definitely gonna be an adventure. We're in the middle of nowhere. On my tablet, I have 4G instead of LTE. So, fortunately, we have cruise control though, which I really like on the Fiesta. I think we're getting close, what do you think? We're gonna go meet up with our tour guide, Brittany. It looks incredible. It looks like something you should definitely do if you happen to be in the area. They have group tours and they have private tours as well. We're lucky enough to get a private tour, but they got animals from all over the world here. Megan will be driving us. Now, do you do this a lot, Megan? Yes, I do. <laughs> Once a week at least. Hello, I'm Brittany. Tell us about yourself. I've been here for about 11 years. I do the public relations for Global. I'm also the weekend manager, so I'm here every single weekend. What's her name again? Zira. Zira. We have a hands-off policy with our animals. The only way we'll intervene is if they need help. It's basically their wild environment without predators, and we make sure we feed them. So That's fantastic. It's a, play, it's a heaven for them. That's <laughs> they great. Love it. These are Cape Eland from the Cape of Africa. They're a type of antelope species. We feed these guys from our cups. Here. This is crazy. I'm in some alternate reality because I'm surrounded by <laughs> animals. I mean, look at this. We're just sitting in here. We have animals everywhere. You're very good at this, Bree. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, better. This uh, lady here, she just had a baby, what, about a couple months ago? About no, four. Four months ago. Oh, wow. And her baby is coming out right behind us. And so what is the mission behind Global Wildlife Center? We're all about conservation at work, so we always try to educate all the younger children that come out. Hi. See ya. It feels like Jurassic Park. They look like old raptors, don't they? Zebras are the only member of the equan family not to be domesticated because they're so aggressive. You notice their necks and their hind end, they got scars and bite marks all over them from biting and kicking each other. You got a llama on the very end by you, you got a, an alpaca, the shaved ones are alpacas, and then this guy right here is going to be a llama slash alpaca. They are a uh, deer species from China. They like to hang out in the Hongho River Valley. They dig these big holes with those big antlers they have, and they lay in them to protect them from the crocodiles that's around us. That's amazing. That's a nice sound. Yeah. He's trying to attract females, right? That's a mating sound? <laughs> They're in running season two. A lot of guys do that. <laughs> it, it doesn't work with women. This is a type of antelope from Africa it's called the scimitar horned oryx. They pretty much have a white body. They look a lot like the unicorn, so that's where the myth of the unicorn came from. They were hunted to extinction in the wild. Now, we have a pretty large herd here at Global Wildlife Center. We had a couple babies born um, this past year. We've been warned that these guys have big oh, horns. Really pretty. And they do. What's the name of this animal? Watusi. Watusi? North American legend says that if you touch the tongue of a bison, you will have good luck for the rest of your life. So have you guys ever had an encounter with a wild animal or an exotic animal like this? Have you ever fed them? Uh, if so, tell me what kind of animal in the comments below. I'm curious. Also, click thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And thanks again to Ford for making this video possible. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.